More than 54,000 people in America have succumbed to COVID-19, a figure that is frequently increasing by more than 2,000 per day. Uh, the concerns are amplifying. The spread of COVID-19 is accelerating across American state prisons. An inmate epidemic is likely. But the bigger question remains, are the federal prisons ready enough to combat the growing coronavirus cri crisis? A majority of inmates from four state prisons in America have now tested positive for the coronavirus. Between Arkansas, Ohio, North Carolina and Virginia prisons, nearly 3,300 inmates have tested positive. However, 96% of these inmates were asymptomatic and that's a huge concern. The asymptomatic carriers pose a particular challenge in the country's state prison system where often inmates come in close contact with one another. The authorities are worried that COVID-19 could spread unchecked in the United States detention facilities that hold more than 2.3 million prisoners. The prison population is especially vulnerable to, to an outbreak. It's likely that the hospitals near prisons could be overwhelmed. The number of cases in prisons has been increasing rapidly. The country's two largest known coronavirus clusters are in Ohio prisons. More than 10,500 people in state prisons have now contracted the infection and more than 110 prisoners have lost their lives. Fear and pessimism has been piling up. Political leaders are now weighing in and seeing how to reopen parts of the economy Refrigerated trucks have supplemented morgues. Unemployment claims have also spiked. America has more people behind bars than any other country. While thousands have been let out, crowded, often unsanitary conditions have raised concerns that jails and prisons could become hotbeds for the spread of the disease. A surge in COVID-19 infections has led to fear sweeping through prisons across the world. Prison inmates fear that they will be left behind in overcrowded cells as the infection tears through areas the world over. Two days ago, dozens of prisoners from the Villa Devoto prison in Argentina's capital staged a riot. The prisoners demanded emergency measures after the confirmation of a new case of the virus in the facility. A group of prisoners managed to climb up to the roof and threw projectiles at security guards trying to quell the revolt. So far, there have been no statements by the authorities or reports of any injuries. In the U.S., the Cook County prison emerged as one of the largest coronavirus clusters. Cook County Jail in America is uh, in, in the third largest city, Chicago. It has 276 inmates who have tested positive, along with 172 staff members there. However, the jail acknowledged those numbers are likely an undercount as the majority of its inmates have not been tested. The inmates in the prison have posted handmade signs pleading for help through the windows of their cells. The jail has seen one prisoner death so far due to complications uh, as a result of the infection. A, a Chicago judge on the 10th of April rejected a bid by inmates to be released or transferred from the jail housing 4,500 detainees. In late March this year, riots swept through a crowded prison in the Colombian capital, Bogota, as well. 23 inmates were reported dead amid rising tensions over the spread of the virus. The violence was described as an attempted mass breakout, part of what was a coordinated plan with inmates who caused disturbances in 13 jails across the country. In mid-March, about 200 inmates caused uh, disorder and burned clothing and mattresses in a riot attempt in the Santiago One prison in Chile amid panic over the coronavirus cases. Chilean authorities managed to thwart the inmate uh, uh, fight while uh, near the center of Santiago, hundreds of relatives gathered who denounced poor hygiene conditions in the establishment. 
Inmates in four Italian prisons also revolted over new rules introduced to contain the coronavirus outbreak, leaving one prisoner dead and others injured. Prisoners in jails in Naples, Poggio Real in the south, Modena in the north, Frisinon in central Italy and at Alexandria in the northwest had all revolted over measures including a ban on family visits. These revolts led to the death of one inmate at the Modena jail. The coronavirus clampdown has also sparked a prison riot in India's Dum Dum Central Jail in Kolkata. Prisoners attacked the jail officials with bricks, ransacked furniture items and set fire in some areas alleging that neither were they being produced in court nor were they being allowed to meet their family members. Tear gas shells had to be fired to bring the situation under control. Some people were seriously injured in the clashes. The prison inmates had also demanded for masks and sanitizers to be made available. Coronavirus outbreak also sparked a wave of prison unrest in other parts inside many of the poorly maintained prisons. Safeguards such as quarantines, social distancing measures, sanitary items and even proper health training are rare. The lack of which is likely to prompt the release of many low-risk prisoners.